pills and drugs to medicate them once they are sick. Um, how about just keeping them from getting sick? Exactly. Uh, what a what a um, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Why I, I pay for my gym membership? You know? Yeah. No. I yeah. yeah. And I mean, we could save so many billions, hundreds of billions of dollars. Uh, you know, but. It's a slow process, yeah. and uh, we're we're lear learning that more and more. I mean, I remember when President and Mrs. Clinton tried to get a national health plan that had a little bit more of a holistic approach, approach and Congress shelved it. Uh, Obama's got something through. I don't know if it's going to be much better, you yeah. know, or any better. Uh, but it is people like Andrew. Uh, Ryan and you, Randy, that can make a, a huge difference, one yes. person to another right. person. Mm -hmm. And I know that you affect friends of yours. Mm -hmm. You know, I've heard them talk. You know, and and you have a clientele like you know, like Chris Murray, with who's on the board of directors of Shanti, uh, has become a client. He met you at a Shanti fundraiser that you were volunteering at, or you offered prizes for. Um, it's a small world when you start participating. <laughs> and so I yeah. think, in a sense, <laughs> we're all looking at life as a recovery opportunity process. You know, so yeah, it's it's funny that you mentioned, um, you know, like the, the presidential office taking some kind of stand on on health and fitness. Um, I, I'm I'm not sure if you were, but you know, Mrs. Obama, the first lady, she has a program with children, bringing them into uh, the White House garden, and teaching them about where food comes from, about eating healthy, and you know, their garden has all these fruits and vegetables. Um, and that's been showcased on the Food Network and through several different shows. I think it was also on the Today Show. And, you know, simple things like that, that, you know, people who are fortunate enough to be in the positions that they're in, to share that information and to educate in that kind of way is really important. And I think it's a great initiative because I didn't know where food came from when I was a kid. You know, you know Doritos were my favorite snack. Cheetos <laughs> were there, too. You know, we had we had all sorts of processed foods. And now we're, we're slowly learning that a lot of this stuff causes plenty of problems even though yes it may be cheaper um, it, it does have its consequences and that going the right route through having you know whole foods and things like that raw and you know ideally organic so sustainable foods really does have a great impact and for the first lady to convey that information to children who are in elementary school and to show them how to garden I think is unbelievable it's funny, San Francisco has been kind of a pioneer in some of these aspects, too. Right. I mean, we're, mm -hmm. you know, we outlawed smoking pretty early in the game, uh, plastic bags and environmental stuff, but also food. And now we're uh, trying to get the schools to uh, eliminate fast food altogether and soft mm -hmm. drinks. And we're going to eliminate the soft drinks being sold from uh, mom and pop corner stores, which is pretty amazing. You know, or at least that's on the, sh on the table it's right on the now, table. legislative. Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, there is a new consciousness, and uh, you know it. It has momentum because, as I said earlier, people like you guys, and uh, you know, I'm no example of it. So <laughs> let me ask you: If I were to come to you with, in a quick assessment, what do I need, and what would, what could I do to get where I should go, in your opinion? So if you were to come to assessment, you know, for, uh, so typically. The first assessment is, is complimentary, and it, it usually lasts from 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes, depending upon what, what you're looking to do. Usually, I, I for people who are interested, I send a form for them mm -hmm. to fill out. Um, it's a physical activity readiness questionnaire. Uh, it's the part cue, and it gives me information about your health history, gives me information about medications you might be taking, um, any kind of stress you're going through. Again, taking a holistic, holistic perspective on you know, sleep, stress, all of that. Um, seeing how it really affects your lifestyle and you as a person. Um, and then you bring that to the session, and you know, I take a look at it, and depending upon what you really want to do, if it's, you know, if you say to me, Andrew, I have never run a 5K, and I really want to run a 5K for charity, then we'll come up with a plan. And, you know, there are proper assessments for things like that, with flexibility, you know, uh, you yeah. know how you move. Um, and, you know, if... If you want to take your weight, we'll take it. If you don't, we don't. You know, if it's really about you feeling better, you know, we don't really need to focus too much on numbers, and because numbers for a lot of people can be really depressing. Um, <laughs> you know, if they don't see the numbers change, they're they're going to be really depressed. But if they focus on how they feel, and and the performance, they're going to see things change, and, and they're going to be able to That's what I would want. Positive, I mean, right? at my age, I mean, I'm not particularly concerned about what I look like, but I am concerned about how I feel. Right. And, and most people are, and a, a lot of people come to me, 
<clears throat> saying, you know, I want to feel better. Like, like uh, Randy came to me saying, I don't want to look like a gym rat who has muscles popping out of his head. I want to, I, I want to feel better. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he wanted a different approach to things. Um, that, that was great to work with, honestly. It's a very re refreshing perspective to, um, to hear that. A lot of people come in saying, you know, I want to have a 26 inch waist or I want to weigh this weight. And that's nice, but that should, that should be, I think it should be the, you know, this, like on the back burner. That shouldn't be really the focus because all that stuff, if you focus on performance and how you feel, all that stuff is going to come with it. And again, like I said before, people get really frustrated when they don't see numbers change, when there are so many good things happening in the meantime. So that's the kind of approach I would take. And then from there, you know, just based on the plan, whether, you know, whether or not you have a certain budget, whether or not you, you have the time to meet certain times a week and whether or not your goal is really intense, we set up a you know, certain plan for you. So that sounds pretty good. I mean, that actually sounds doable to an old preamp like myself. <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah. So Randy, how's your experience been? I mean, What's the change for you? Well, I want to piggyback on what Andrew was saying. Um, someone yeah. told me around the same time that I started working with Andrew that my body size and weight and all that was none of my business. And if I just <laughs> focused on the on on uh, the wellness and the diet part of it, that all of that would happen and take care of itself. And, and it really has um, to stress again the importance of, of the nutrition piece of it. Like for years I worked out. I worked out for 20 plus years. But I was missing that key component of nutrition. And when, once I made those adjustments and then let go of like this image that I had, <clears throat> excuse me, of what I was supposed to look like, it's interesting how I feel, I feel really good in my body now and I, I look in the mirror and I'm like, I look pretty good. I'm, I'm coming up on 47 years old and I feel like, you know, I'm in decent shape and I'm really happy with <laughs> yeah, You look very result, good. So. You look <laughs> terrific. I'm going to show some pictures now that uh, you gave us, Andrew, and uh, you, you can tell us what they are. I know the two people in with what's on the screen now, if I can see it. <laughs> uh, this is my girlfriend, uh, Yael. Yael. Um, a very sweet girlfriend. Uh, we're at a birthday party for a friend who's recovering uh -huh. uh, from alcoholism. Mm -hmm. um, having a pretty good time. Just there to support 